Hey there, y'all. It looks like the beneficial nematodes are working to help us with our flea and tick problem, especially in Colt's pen. I put the produce in the kitchen on the kitchen table and was washing my hands at the sink, looked out the window and saw blood on our Great Pyrenees. So I came out here, checked to see if something had gotten into his pen that maybe he killed, and then checked him. It wasn't like a lot of blood, it's just some blood. And apparently he has a sore on his chest. Not sure how he got it. But now I'm going to administer some hydrogen peroxide on it and maybe take a little bit of a closer look at it. And then maybe I'll get to take the clothes off the clothesline. Colt! Sit, please. Sit. Good boy. Poke yourself on a stick, babe. Oh, well, let me come in and doctor it, okay? All right, I checked it again. Doesn't look like it's deep at all. Just a surface level wound. No telling how he did it. Probably wasn't paying attention and ran into something in his pen because that's our puppy dog. So I put the hydrogen peroxide on it to help disinfect it. And he's fine. Right, Mr. Colt? <laughs> Um, I also, since I had him relatively still, <laughs> checked his ears a little bit closer for ticks just to make sure we didn't have another problem going on. And I didn't see any ticks, which is awesome because last year we were just inundated with them with both Colt and Trigger. So I'm going to attribute that to the beneficial nematodes that we sprayed, which I'll link up there because... So far, the flea and tick issue that we've had in years past and that others are having right now, we're not experiencing much of a problem. Now, I may have just jinxed myself, I realize that. And we didn't spray the whole yard because that would just be really expensive to try to do. Um, we just did spot treatments in the garden and around Colt's pen. Our main goal in spraying Colt's pen was the flea and tick issue that we experienced really bad last year. Our goal with putting the beneficial nematodes in the garden was to control the ant larva, the grubs, and... Shadow, you just knocked that out of my hand, boy. <laughs> um, ants, grubs, and there was something else, but I can't think of it right now. But if you go to that video that I linked, It'll say in there what the third pest was in the garden that we were really trying to control. I'm not sure if Justin will have a chance to add to this, um, but I just wanted to let y'all know about um, yet another surprise that popped up here on the homestead. Hi, Rebel. Um, it's hard to be able to just sit and do nothing. Because things like, oh, you look out the window and there's blood on your dog's chest. Those kind of things tend to happen around here. <sighs> or bees attacking a rabbit. Or ants killing a whole litter of rabbits. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and get back to taking the clothes off the clothesline. Because we do dry all of our clothes on the clothesline. We have a hookup for a dryer, but we currently do not um, even have a dryer set up. And we've been utilizing, well, I've been utilizing the um, clothesline since I moved out here. Whew, it's getting closer to four years, but over three and a half. And then um, after I finish that, I'm going to work on making some more oil for the ear mites for the rabbits because we've got several rabbits that are dealing with ear mites again. It's a constant thing but um, I think we're going to have to put it on our calendar to make sure that we 
take care of it on a more routine basis instead of just a spot checking basis. Sidetracked again. I need to put some peroxide on Sox's wound that he got from fighting who knows how many kitty cats. So maybe after that sidetrack, I'll be able to wash my hands and get the clothes off the line. All right. The laundry has been brought in. Yay. So finally that task got accomplished. I'm going to go ahead and wake Justin up so he can go ahead and take care of the animals. And maybe I'll start working on one of these videos. I just want to say I hope y'all have a blessed day and we will see y'all tomorrow. Hey Cloud Hoppers, thanks for watching the video. Push the thumbs up to like the video. Also hit that subscribe button, also the bell so that you can get notifications when our videos come out. Check us out on our social media pages, too. We have Facebook and Pinterest, and soon we'll have Instagram. The links are below. Bye, y'all! Bye! Good job. Hmm.